Today we will learn about the man who lost his throne to save his country. We will learn about King Constantine the Second of Greece, one of the most inspirational people of the world. <laughs> Constantine was born in Fasikio, I don't know Greek, so this is my best pronunciation, near Athens in Greece, on June 2, 1940. For World War II, he lived in exile in South Africa due to Axis occupation, and he returned back in 1946. In 1960, Summer Olympics, he got first place for sailing, which was the first gold medal Greece had gotten in many years. His father became King Paul I in 1947. His father, King Paul, died on March the 6th, 1964, and Constantine became the new king. In late 1967, he married Queen Annie Marie of Greece. Constantine knew that the current premier, Georgios Pandurio, had served too long, so he set up several interim premiers in July of 1965. Teal citizens could elect a new government. The military, fearing the citizens' elections that were supposed to happen in May of 1967, staged a coup. And then the government became a military dictatorship under the, the military. The king fled to northern Greece and tried to stage a counter-coup in December 13, 1967, but it fell apart and he and his family fled to Rome. The military put two regents in place of the king when he went to Rome, one after another, and on June the 1st, 1973, the military proclaimed Greece a republic. In December 8, 1947, after the dictatorship fell apart, the new government held a referendum about the monarchy, and the monarchy was abolished. There were some interesting things about this last referendum, though. The king was supposed to return to Greece and talk to the government and the people, but the government did not allow it. And they didn't allow Constantine back to Greece. During this time, they also tarnished his image. Yet, Constantine was the only one to fight it back against the military dictatorship. In 1994, the Greek government passed laws to attack the former king, and so he had to use his Danish side of the family to do international affairs, since the Greek royal family is an extension of the Danish one. After Constantine fled to Rome, he went to England and lived there till 2013, when he returned to Greece, and supports the Greek people, even if the government detests him still to this day. Okay, a recap. He tried to save his country, but the new government hated the king and tarnished his image, even though the king was the only one to try to stop the military dictatorship. Then the government tarnished his image afterwards. Okay, guys, hit that like and subscribe button below. See you next video. Share my videos, subscribe, like. Great order. You can do it.